Welcome to my game room. I'm your host, Ryan Sparks, aka Touched Artist. This video is inspired by our friends at Game Day Esports. You can find out more information about Game Day at gamedaypr.com slash ambassadors. In today's video, I count down my top five most anticipated games of 2021 on the Nintendo Switch. Coming in at number five on the list is Bravely Default 2. Bravely Default 2 is actually the third title in the Bravely Default role-playing game series. So why they went with Bravely Default 2, I'm not really sure. But the original was one of my favorite games on 3DS. I believe it is the only 3DS game that I ever bought a collector's edition for. My understanding is that the game will feature an entire new cast of characters, meaning if you didn't play the first games, you're safe to jump in and have fun with this one. In production by Clay Tech Works, the game is set to be released next month, February 26th. On the list at number four is Golden Force. I'm a sucker for 2D side scrollers, especially on my Switch. I think that the original Super Mario Bros. games and Mega Man have my brain programmed that Nintendo and side scrollers go hand in hand. No Gravity Games has me extremely interested in Golden Force. They have me suckered in because it looks like a pirate game at the onset. The features listed on the Nintendo eShop say four worlds of challenge, old school difficulty, but not too frustrating, two player co-op, four playable characters, fearful bosses, and tons of secrets and hidden challenges for hardcore gamers. Okay, I'm in. And at 20% off the price point if you pre-order, I'm all in. Golden Force releases on Thursday, January 28th. For $15.99 if you pre-order, and $19.99 if you do not. list on number three, Monster Hunter Rise. Capcom set the release date for Monster Hunter Rise on March 26th and all I could think was happy birthday to me, even though it's a week after my actual birthday. I can't really explain to you why I love the Monster Hunter games, but I can tell you that I came late to the party, and I wish I had played some of the previous games before Monster Hunter World. Although being late to the party, I'm ready to play another Monster Hunter game on the Switch for sure. Joining us on the list at number two is new Pokemon Snap. The original Pokemon Snap on N64 led to some of my favorite moments in gaming. That being said, I'm not a huge Pokemon fan. I don't like the traditional Pokemon games, although I was always fond of the characters and found them to be cute. The stories were okay. I just felt like the game itself turned into a bit of a grind. Pokemon Snap wasn't like that for me though and it allowed me to meet a number of the Pokemon that I hadn't seen in watching the TV show back in the day. I'm looking forward to this game because I know that Nintendo is going to have some tricks up their sleeve. It is my hope that they do something with the Pokemon Pass app as well, which when Sword and Shield came out was kind of a bust if I'm being honest. I downloaded it, and finally finding myself getting into the Pokemon games just a little bit, and then they let me down. Because this game is coming out, I will be reintroducing myself to the world of Pokemon here on my streams in the coming weeks. New Pokemon Snap releases April 30th.
I know that you were thinking that Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 had to be number one on the list. And while that makes sense, with Zelda's 35th anniversary on its way, we don't have a confirmed release date. So what game is holding my number one spot for most anticipated game of 2021 on the Nintendo Switch? Super Mario 3D World. Yes, a game that I've already played. And it was released on the Wii U. It's actually my most anticipated game of 2021 for Nintendo Switch. Mainly because a large number of you haven't had the pleasure to play it before. This game, in addition to just being another fun Mario game, has the opportunity to bring some new fans to the series, and hopefully bring the next generation of Nintendo gamers to love Mario even more than us OGs. Super Mario Maker 2 and Mario Odyssey were good. Don't get me wrong, but Super Mario 3D World might be the best Mario game that we get an opportunity to play on the Switch. And with the Bowser's Fury expansion, it could set a whole new level. February 12th is the release day for this one, just in time for you to pick up a copy for your significant other if you celebrate Valentine's Day. I want to thank Game Day Esports again for posing the question, what are your most anticipated games you're looking forward to in 2021 on Twitter, and inspiring me to throw this little video together. Thanks for coming to my game room, and I'll see you next time.